Hey, welcome to your list basics review. You can find all of this code up on my GitHub account, Caleb Curry, and then go into my Python repo and then beginner Python. We're gonna be taking a look at 03 list basics. So you can copy that and paste that in a file or you can download it. And from here, we're just gonna run this and just see what we get. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. I'm also gonna zoom out a little bit just so you guys can see everything. All right. So making a list is really simple. We just surround things with square brackets. This is a list of numbers. This is a list of strings. However, you can mix data types, that's totally fine. So in this situation, we have a string, we have a number, and we have another list which also contains strings. We can print an entire list just by using the list name. So here we're printing all three of those lists we just made, which is where these three outputs come in. So we have 20, 25, and 20, which is right here. Then we have our names here, and then we have our my favorite things list. You can use indexes to grab particular elements. So if we go ages index two, that's gonna go index zero, one, two, and grab 20, which is where we get this 20 in the output. We could also grab a list. So if we grab the index two of my favorite things, we get this entire thing, which is a list itself. Now lists are mutable, so we can go in and change any of the data. So we changed all of the data for the ages list and printed it, which is where we get five, 10, 15. The actual numbers themselves were replaced, but we're not creating a copy of this entire list every time we change it. We're just replacing any particular element, which works just fine. The example I gave in a previous video is you have a bucket full of numbers. You take out a number and you put a number back in, but you're not throwing out the bucket and getting a new bucket each time. We can also slice with lists. So for example, we do ages with a one colon, and that's going to start from index one which gives us 10, 15. So we get these two pieces of data right here. We also show a little bit about updating lists using slicing. So for example, we grab the index one forward and we change it to six, seven. So now when we run it, we get five, six, seven. So pretty much we replaced 10 and 15 with six, seven. Copying lists is pretty simple. You might think to do it this way, but this is incorrect. This is actually going to create an alias. So names and names two both point to the same object in memory. So changes in one will be seen in both. So changing Caleb to Caleb with a K and printing it, you can see that the changes are going to be seen in the original right here. Even though we made that change through this new variable names two, the data is seen in the original variable because they both point to the same area of memory. We change the area of memory, and then when we access it from a different variable, it's still changed, obviously. So be careful with aliasing. You might wanna do it in certain situations, but oftentimes you're probably going to want to make a copy, which you can do like so. So now names two and names point to two different lists and changes in one do not affect the other. You can see my notes explaining how this indexing thing works if you're interested, but just to show you guys, we change it to Caleb really long, and then we print the original names, and that change is not seen. Another alternative is to use copy, and same thing, we print it again, and in both situations, we get Caleb as the output. Next up, we just talk a little bit about methods. So when we do list.copy, this is an example of a method. It's just a function that's attached to an object. So it works pretty much the same way. You just have to use the dot operator on some object, such as this list names works fine. I think there's a little mistake here because we should be copying names one. But I think the output should be exactly the same. Yeah, it's fine. Nested list basics. Well, we can nest list like so, and then when we grab that index, we actually get a list in return. Treat it like a normal list. So in this situation, we're assigning it to another variable. We can print that, and we can also access individual elements such as Amazon Prime. You can also do two square brackets. So my favorite things, two, one, which will also grab Amazon Prime just the same way. If there are a ton of square brackets, you can deep dive into this list using a sequence of square brackets, and in this case, a zero, 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 because there's only one element 
and that'll get us the deep dive value. Because of the versatility of lists, you'll see them a lot, so hopefully you guys are getting used to them a little bit. Now here I talk a little bit about shallow copying, and this is probably the most confusing part of what we talked about. Creating a list and making a copy of it like so is going to make a copy of the list, so it's not pointing to the same list in memory. However, any nested lists are just going to be aliased. So what that means is if we change the original here and update it to audible, well, in that copy, my favorite things too, that change is gonna be seen, and you can see it is right here when we print that second list. So if you wanna fix this, you can do a deep copy, and in that situation, you just say import copy, and say copy.deepcopy, and in this situation, you pass in what you want to copy, and it's gonna return a deep copy, which we assign to my favorite things three. So now when we update the original to Hulu, and then print the original and this new one, you can see that they're different. So scrolling out, down a little bit, you see Hulu and Audible, they are not the same thing. So for example, you can concatenate strings, but you can also concatenate lists or essentially just combine them. So we have the good and then we have the bad. And if you mix them together, you have just right. So you know, if you eat a little bit of kale, a little bit of fries, you're gonna be a pretty healthy individual. Probably not, but you guys get the point. We say good plus bad, print just right, and we have a list containing all of it. And then we just have another example that we can just do the addition right inside of the print statement, just kind of reiterating what we've been talking about through this series that you don't always have to assign things to variables. So that was a lot, hopefully it was helpful. Just stay tuned for the next video because we're gonna get into some new stuff.